Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For today's adventure, I'm doing a hike in the Brevard area of North Carolina, uh, just outside downtown Brevard, uh, off of uh, 276. Currently walking up Avery Creek Road, I believe is the name of it. I'm gonna be doing a hike to Avery Creek Falls and Twin Falls. I'm supposed to be able to drive up the road a little further than, than I did, but the section of the road is closed due to storm damage, it says on the sign, so, which is adding about a mile to my hike. Should bring the total mileage to about five miles, as it was four miles originally. And dealing with a little bit of light rain right now. It's supposed to rain on and off in the area throughout the day. There's the greatest chance of rain being uh, around three hours from now so I uh, decided to get out and try to make use of uh, what I would refer to as uh, kind of a, a window of not heavier rain I guess not really the greatest weather this weekend so just trying to make the best of what I have so uh, that's the plan hopefully I can make it there and back without getting drenched so uh thank you for joining me today along the hike and i hope you enjoy the video all right so i finished the uh road walk section here i'm gonna kind of bear off the road and enter the woods on the avery creek trail I'm just going to descend a little bit here off the bat. The road did bring me out quite a bit up above uh, the creek. When I started walking the road, I was a little more level with it. Not completely level, but definitely more so than I am now. So from this point, it's supposed to be two miles. Roughly two miles, I suppose two twin falls you can actually do this hike in a loop i was looking at it, it looks like i may be able to save a little bit of time if i just do it out and back instead of a loop so we may do that keep track of how heavy the rain gets and all yeah just a very rainy day hike it's okay sometimes A little, little different than what I'm used to. But I'm not really a person that tends to hike in the rain a whole lot. The times that it's happened were not really planned like this one. So, at least I was somewhat prepared. Kind of have better shoes on for it and all that. So. Surprisingly, there was about half a dozen cars where I parked. I don't know that they're all out here on this trail or where they're at, but there are other trails in the area. So there's the creek down there. Working our way down to that, I suppose. It's supposed to be around the 400 feet elevation gain on this hike. We spread that out over two miles. That's not, not a lot necessarily, but Never can tell if it all comes at once or how it's going to be, but so far we're just going downhill here in the beginning, so maybe it'll be fairly easy going. Creek side now, we got some little footbridges that they've put in place here. Very nice, keeps you from walking just through straight mud. So I reached the first creek crossing here and I did have to cross it on this log. I always carry one trekking pole so I had it. Someone had been kind enough to leave another uh, log on the ground there so I was able to kind of have a stick on both sides of me 
pretty deep there, so there was no walking through it, even with my 14 inch rain boots on. It's too tall for that, too high, the water's too high for that. But I made it across fairly well. Got a little rocky at times, but not too bad. There's some old wood here. I wonder if at one point they had an actual bridge that went across. Maybe a storm washed it out. Anyway, we're continuing on from here. Got another sign right here coming up. It's telling me that Claw, Claw Hammer Cove is that way. And Avery Creek is this way, which we're going to continue to. Let's go straight through the woods here. Since I got to the creek level, it's been mostly flat, so hopefully it'll continue that way and it'll be kind of just easy, rainy, but maybe an easier hike. Definitely very peaceful out here. I went around, not that I've seen yet. And I'm walking just alongside the creek now, so you can constantly hear water. Very nice. Nice little cascade down below the trail right here. It's like a log has fell there and other deadfalls just kind of piled up on top of it. But it did create a little cascade there. Coming up on Avery Creek Falls now, it's just off the trail. There's a little short path that takes you down uh, to get more in line with the creek, and I think it kind of parallels it to, up to the base of it, so I'm gonna try to do that now. It's kind of right to the woods there. Quite a bit of deadfall through here, and it's all just kind of piled up. Right here where I'm standing. It's a pretty nice, probably 20, 25 foot wide. Only about eight or nine feet tall, I would say, but there's a lot of water coming over that thanks to the recent rains we've had. A pretty nice little spot over in the dead pond. You do have a clear view of it at least. Now I gotta climb back over this and get back on the trail. Here's another angle of it from the trail. Really powerful right now. Right. And you know, it's also another little scramble path here. It'll take you down here to the top of it if you wanted to go that way. I'm gonna power through here. Skip that part. All right, so we got a little creek crossing, a little bonus waterfall here. It's probably not usually more than a trickle, but because of the recent rain, like I mentioned, kind of brought this one to life. Really, really nice right here. Yeah, I like that. Got a little slide right here, just in the creek. And we got some foot, foot bridges coming up here. One of them looks to be recently repaired, maybe. Another little small drop off to the right. Straight through the woods. Perfect. Walking alongside the creek here, fixing to cross a footbridge. Just noticed there's some, thought there were tents at first, the park's covering up something. I don't know exactly what. 
I'm not gonna find out, but I just thought it was interesting. Pretty deep out here. Just have to look over there and see that. No one's around them either. At least not right now. I'm glad these bridges are here. Buckhorn Gap Trail. So we have officially switched to the Buckhorn Gap Trail on the Avery Creek Trail. It does look like it may be blazed with this orange paint, maybe. Or maybe that's just one. Time will tell, but I believe it's blazed. Very, very well, well worn, wide path, just like the Avery Creek Trail. Got probably, I don't know exactly how much further left, but I would say it's probably under a mile, around a mile up to the Twin Falls, something like that. This may be around the halfway point, give or take. So, doing pretty good, good on time. No torrential downpour yet, just the same kind of drizzle, light rain, whatever you want to call it. So far, so good. So I'm at another pretty wide creek crossing here and they've built a really, really nice, uh, just a single handrail bridge. It goes over the creek. Looks like it probably hasn't been here very long. Probably not easy to get that big log out here either, I imagine. Not sure how they did that, but this really resembles how a lot of the bridges look in the Smokies. Uh, really, really nice. I like that a lot. Solid as a rock, can't even feel it moving. Awesome. They did an awesome job on that. It's great. All right, so I'm pretty close to the falls, maybe a couple tenths of a mile. We've come to a junction here. It says the easiest way is to go left on the Twin Falls. I guess it's like a spur trail takes you the rest of the way to it and actually do a loop and you can come back this way. I think I'm going to do what's recommended and go easiest and then take the other one back. And I just noticed that there's another uh, nice bridge that they made here. It's actually two narrow logs. So I may not be crossing this one with a phone in my hand, but at least it is something because that water right there is too deep for me to walk across without getting up to my shins and over my boots. So. I'm going to take it easy across this one. Very glad that it's here. Waterfall coming right up. Back through there somewhere. Really nice campsite and a fire ring down here off to the right of the trail. Just as I get closer to the falls, we're just going to be right around this corner here. The rain's starting to pick up a little bit. As I get closer to the falls, hopefully it's just around here. Won't be quite this heavy on the way back, but probably can't tell on camera, but it has picked up a little bit. So we're gonna make this a quicker than anticipated visit once we reach the falls and then start the trek back. As you see right now, it's mostly flat. And it's really been that way the majority of the time. There's been a few little uphills down, spots where you went down out there at the beginning. Other than that, it's been pretty easy going, mostly flat. Kind of lost count on how many creek crossings there were, but the worst one was the one at the very beginning where I went across the log with two sticks and the water was kind of deep. Uh, the other one's been pretty manageable, as long as you're careful. I think I see the top of the fall just to the trees, so it uh, won't be long. I just crossed the creek down there and come up to a, a Y in the trail here. So it's called Twin Falls for a reason. There are two falls. One is straight through there, as you can see. And the other one is over here. Looks like the one on the left is gonna be smaller. We're gonna go to the right one first. So correction on that, looks like there's gonna be a total of three falls. There's just two right here together. All in the same little area. I got this wide angle on right now so we can see everything at once. 
little sitting area and campsite here. Yeah, these two waterfalls are huge. A lot of dead falling things around them, but we're gonna get closer. It'd be hard to take an actual photo of this. It's so, such a large area, but it should appear very well in video. There's twin falls. Probably the only spot that I can film both of them at once easily. So my phone's about to die. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Literally on 1%. Hopefully this clip will finish. But I uh, thoroughly enjoyed the hike. I kind of already covered things I saw along the way. Uh, it is accurate to be around four miles round trip. Uh, in addition to that, I had to do the extra mile because the road was closed. But, so around five miles counting the road. But I uh, really enjoyed the hike. Rain is picking up. So I'm gonna try and hightail it out of here quickly and safely as possible hope you enjoyed the video if you did maybe give it a thumbs up consider subscribing if you haven't thanks for watching see you in the next video